Hey everyone, Donna Lewis here with Breathe Life Ministries. And I'm just getting my stuff set up. <laughs> Hang tight here while I get it all, all together here. Just a second. This always takes just a minute. I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay. Now I can see what I'm doing. That is, you know, I love Zoom. It's really cool. And um, I can share my screen with you. I can go live on Facebook with it. It's awesome for the interviews and stuff, but gads, <laughs> I'm still learning my way. So thanks for being so patient with me while I dial things in. And my goodness, I've got big hair today. <laughs> oh man. I'm like rocking the 80s. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do my little screen share with y'all here. Hang on here while I get it all set up. Oh, let's see, hold on, hold on here. So, it's Transformed Tuesday. We are doing an interactive live devotional out of uh, toxic to transformed 100 words of life to renew the mind here we go I'm gonna just hold it up to the screen here and we are in word number 15 today and in this particular word we are talking about remaining in the vine so before we get rolling though as we always do, I got a question, and this is just a fun question for you all to answer. What was the first concert you ever went to? So think back, what was the first concert, real concert at a either a stadium or an arena that you ever went to? Now mine, <laughs> it was Andy Gibb. Who remembers Andy Gibb? He was one of the Bee Gees brothers. Barry Gibb, Robin Gibb. He was he was their baby brother. And um, I don't know. Let's see. I was probably in the seventh grade. And so this would have been 1978, maybe, 79. It was Andy Gibb. <laughs> It was a good concert too, <laughs> as I recall. <clears throat> so what was the first concert you all have ever went to? Go ahead and put that in the comments. I'm really anxious to see your answers to, the, to this. This should be really good. First concert you ever went to. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and dive in. Remain in the vine. There are no limits to what you can accomplish through the kingdom power of Jesus Christ. With God, all things are possible. Who needs to hear that today? With God, all things are possible. There is nothing but hope when you are joined to God through Christ Jesus. God listens within with, excuse me, God listens with intent interest when you speak to him. He is deeply concerned with everything that concerns you. He delights in the same things that delight you my friend, let's agree to stay close and stay connected to the nourishing, powerful love of Jesus. All things are possible with God. Nothing is impossible. He's intently interested in those things that interest you and concern you. 
you know, this is a timely word for, for me and Jade right now because our truck broke down <laughs> and we're trying to, he's intently trying to figure out why it's not running right. But Jesus knows and Jesus is concerned and he is going to meet our needs. You know, so often when we walk through a, um, the healing of abuse, we remember those times when we weren't listened to, when we weren't heard, when maybe we were excited about something, but no one was interested in hearing about it. Or we were trying to tell somebody that we were hurting and they weren't concerned. But that's not Jesus. Jesus is intently interested in everything you have to say. He is intently interested about what upsets you and what makes you happy. You can prattle on for endless hours and he will never grow tired of your voice. So let's look at the passage of scripture that's tied with this devotional. It's John 15, 5. I am the sprouting vine and you're my branches. So picture that in your head right now. Jesus is this beautiful sprouting vine and you are the branches growing out from him. As you live in union with me as your source, fruitfulness will stream from within you. But when you live separated from me, you are powerless. This is John 15, 5 from the Passion Translation. So what is the picture here? Well, Jesus is this beautiful grape vine, and you are the branches from that grape vine. And just as a grape vine produces fruit, so you and I, as we remain in in unity with Christ, will also produce fruit. Beautiful, delicious fruit. But how much fruit, like, think about it. If you've got like rose bushes or um, any kind of, um, or maybe you have grape vines, when you clip one of those branches off, it eventually will wither up and die. It's not going to produce any more fruit. That's the way we are. If we try to live cut off from Jesus, separate from his word, we may exist for a little while, but we're not going to produce any kind of fruit that will last. It will eventually wither and die. So let me ask you a quick question before we move on to the next slide. Think to yourself, and if you have a journal, maybe you want to write it down. In what ways have I been trying to live separate from the vine, from Christ, from his word? And what has it produced? Now, let's move on to the next, the next slide. So for your journal, how do you see yourself living in union with Christ? In what ways are you living in unity with Christ? And how does the image of you 
sprouting from Jesus the vine inspire you? Remember, when we're grafted, when we're, when we're in union with Christ, he is the power of creation itself. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the word spoken at creation that said, let there be light, and there was light. So how does this image inspire you today? And now I am going to look at our live and see if we've got anybody joining us yet. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing anybody. So if you're watching this on the recast, please go ahead and um, answer these questions in the comments. Um, Share with me your thoughts and your ideas, your inspiration. And uh, that's it for Transformed Tuesday. Join me tomorrow for our expert interview with worship leader Tammy McBride. That is going to be at 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Pacific time. And I am really excited about it. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to get to enjoy Tammy's worship leading, uh, a new song she wrote, and she's going to be talking to us about the power of worship. So uh, be back here at Breathe Life Ministries, 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, and God bless. Love you much.